ったねー We are back here at the studio and today I want to show you the things that I got from Taipei. So if you've been following the channel, you know that I just got back from Taipei and I spent three, three days there. The trip was just for coffee, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna show you today the things that I got from Taipei. Hey, let's start. All right, so these two products I got from Sahor's Coffee. I'll put the link down below where to find him. He gave me a very good deal on these products. Um, I only spent, for this one, maybe 300 Taiwan. So that's 600 pesos. And then for this one, maybe 2,400 Taiwan. So it's really cheap. So this is an old, this is an old product. It's a fellow stack pour over set. I've wanted this long. I've wanted this maybe f quite a few ways back. But I I just couldn't justify the cost of this. So when he offered me a very good deal on this product, I immediately said yes. And then this one, uh, this is a Pegasus server, which we don't have here in the Philippines. So the thing that we have here normally looks like this. Yeah? So this Pegasus server is actually slim. If I remove the handle, it will be a nice um, travel carafe because it will only take so much space, right? Okay, and then this is the fellow stag pour over set. So we're just gonna do quick unboxing of these products. Right, so the stag uh, pour over set is actually a flat bottom dripper that comes with a carafe as well. So it uses a wave filter and it looks like this. Now these, these products, on the other hand, I got them from Muchan, Muchan Coffee Bean Equipment. I will also put the link down below um, where to find him. But if you, want to, if you want to watch that episode, if you want to see that vid, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link here. Okay, so I got these um, paper filters which he says um, moves water differently. So what we have here in the Philippines is Hario, Kafek, um, Kono, I think. But this one, we don't have it here in the Philippines. So I was curious, I want to try how the paper is. Kalita papers, these are very cheap there. Um, I think maybe 200 Taiwan. Next is this one. It's a hoop coffee brewer. This is the first edition. So I really like the color of this. And again, it's a nice deal. Yeah, it looks like this. So the way it works is you put your coffee grounds in the middle. You see this white, big white part here. This is your paper filter, right? And then you put your coffee grounds there. And then you pour your water here on this part. You can also pour water here for your blooming face, but essentially you pour your water here so that it trickles down your coffee bed very, very slowly. Next is this um, Lily Drip L7C. This is the foldable um, crank handle for Comandante. I wonder where my original jar is. Right, so if you haven't seen this product, 
this is an aftermarket product for your commandante. So, you remove your old crank handle. Right, and if you use this, it's going to be a foldable crank handle so that when you travel, you don't need to remove this and store it separately. So you just... Ah, uh, it works like that. Right, so I've been actually looking for this uh, foldable crank handle, but unfortunately, it's not available in the Philippines. So I hunted it down in Taipei as well. Right, lastly, the coffees that I got from Taipei. Okay, let's start with this one, Simple Kafa. So Simple Kafa is one of the most popular places to visit in Taipei. Um, they have different branches, one in Zhongzheng, one in Taipei 101. Yes, up in the Taipei 101. And then another one, but I, I'm not really sure where, it, where is it. Um, so I visited the one in Zhongzheng district and I spent maybe an hour or so drinking coffee and enjoying my toast and I really enjoyed the coffee so I bought them and I bought two more <laughs> because I ordered um, this one I ordered this one the La Cruz um, Colombia Narino this is um, this is a medium dark roasted anaerobic washed Colombia COE number 12 so this is a cup of excellence um, coffee bean um, they roasted it medium dark and it is really good. It's very sweet with maraschino cherries. Yes, you can actually taste the maraschino cherries. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I got a bag. This is 1,200 Taiwan for 100 grams. And I got two more. So I saw this Taiwan Alishan Origin. This is their local um, coffee. Alishan is the, it's like the mountain region of uh, Taiwan. Yeah, so Taiwan Alishan, this, this is light roasted. The variety is SL34. Um, it says here that the flavor notes is plum, oolong tea, and maltose. Right. This is 1,000 Taiwan for 100 grams. And then finally, this one. This is a Kenya SL28, SL34, but in a medium dark profile. Right, so this is exciting as well. If you want to see that video of Simple Kafa, I'll put the link here. After visiting Simple Kafa, I went to VWI by Chad Wang. So in VWI by Chad Wang, I actually ordered a cup of baby gesha but i did not order that coffee instead i got this june in peru um the next day um i actually went to muchan to buy these after visiting muchan i did the best coffee crawl trail in taipei if you want to know the details of that video i'll put the link here but it's for me it's the best coffee crawl to do in Taipei because you only use one train that's right so in one single line of train there is these three different shops so the first one to visit is the Sucre Sucre beans coffee um, next to visit is the Oasis coffee roasters and lastly Fika Fika cafe so in that on that day I visited those three and I got coffees from three different shops. So the first one, this is from Sucre Beans. I got two different bags. They call this their daily coffee. So <laughs> because they have they have like auction lot Panama Geshas, which are very, very expensive. Um, when I asked about it, they said it's around 2,500 Taiwan for one cup. That's not for one bag, for one cup. All right, so those are their special coffees. And this one, 
Um, this is their daily coffees. This is Ethiopia Irgachev G1 Banco Gotiti 74110 washed. So this is actually a daily coffee for them. This is a Colombia Colombia Quindio Finca Jardines del Alden Carlos Castillo wine yeast honey process. Right, so this, uh, they said this one is really good iced. And it's the first time for me at least that someone recommended the coffee to be served iced. Yeah, so I was really curious about this. Next is I went to this, Oasis Coffee Roasters. So when I visited Oasis Coffee Roasters, the place was packed, it was very busy. And yeah, so I didn't get to order coffee. So I just got coffee and a shirt and this cupping spoon <laughs> so yeah the coffee that i got from them is it's a washed ethiopia 74158 the flavor notes is orange blossom orange apricot and high sweetness gesha grade roast level two yeah and they are the 2023 taiwan brewers champions and lastly i got Coffees from Fika Fika Cafe. Fika Fika Cafe is more like a commercial coffee shop, but a specialty at the same time. Um, it is actually a chain. They have a lot of different branches, but they are a third wave, um, third wave coffee shop. So I got specialty coffees there as well. So this one, I've been brewing this for a few days now. This is an Ethiopia, Ethiopia Irgachev Idito Amaresh Ararso Amaresh G1. Um, I was curious because they said this is Sunny Roast. And Sunny Roast, according to them, is their signature roasting profile. Alright, and then... Um, I got this Ethiopia Sidama Arbigona Station Top G1. So this is a light roasted washed coffee. So there, these are my coffee boodle in Taipei. Um, if you've been to Taipei recently, let me know in the comment section where did you go and what did you buy there, right? But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!